Hi YouTube, it's me, Janicia1980. Um, I just came to do this review right quick to share some things with you. Um, today was my weigh-in, so I lost 2.4 pounds today. This is what I am now. Still got a lot to lose, but you know, slow pace is slow motions. Um, I wanted to come to just share some things. Um, last year in February, I decided to go natural. And that lasted up to September because I kind of, the hair was just getting too much for me, so I had to relax it. Um, so after I did that, kind of missed the texture of my hair, so I decided, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it again. So, I decided to do it again, and it's April, so it's been, last relax was September of 2011. So, I'm doing it again. Um... I tried to do some protective styles, the quick weaves, the wigs, the half weaves, sew-ins, breaks. And what I realized, like, I like all that, but with the sew-ins and the types of hair that I get, um, it just doesn't work because I also work out. So, I hate the fact that I'm constantly having to put heat on my transitioning hair to blend in with the straight hair that I put in and it, it's never right it's never right I bought so many products if you can see all those products back there I bought so many products to try to make it work for me and it just can't and I'm like just basically I'm throwing away money um I even had so in one of my videos I had the curly hair I tried that and my hair isn't the same texture so even though it might be curly hair my hair still doesn't work well with it so i'm like you know what i'm changing me i'm 31 years old so i'm trying to do a lot of life changes i'm changing me i'm trying to become a better person i'm you know eating better i'm exercising i'm trying to lose the weight and i'm like you know what i'm gonna go back to the relaxes because when i had the relaxes i kept my hair you know i took better care of my hair when it was relaxed than i am with transition when through this transitioning phase i'm just my hair, I'm just not taking care of it like I should, and, which is not good. Like, I have a little growth because it is growing. I mean, it was way shorter than this. But it's just not going to work for me. And I was like, okay, your birthday's coming up in November. You know, you can do your big chop. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. I'm afraid to lose my length. Like, to go this short. I'm not comfortable with it like I've psyched myself out of it so many times I'm just not comfortable with it so um yeah Thursday or sometime next week I'm going to get a relax I'm going to get my ends trim going to dye my hair black and just start over from there um I don't plan to get a uh, relaxer every six weeks I plan to get it maybe every three to four months and when it gets to that point, I want to, I don't want to use curling eyes and heat and, and all of that. I'd rather do like flexi rods and a lot of protective styles for my hair. You know, I was um, watching Gucci Girl 1229 and she was telling me about, you know, why when your hair gets to a shoulder length, it um, doesn't grow. So I'm going to listen to her. I listen to... I think her name is Shorty Too Sweet, and I've listened to You Love Megs also. So I'm going to join the forum for long for health. I'm really not focusing on long right now. First, I want to focus on the health of this to have relaxed, healthy hair. That's my goal first to focus on it, and then I'll focus on length. Um, so I'm going to do that. Uh, so I think I'll probably do like an update every three months on my hair, or maybe once a month on my hair. Um, show the styles that I'm doing, the protective styles. Um, yeah, the process of doing transition hair is just too long for me. Like, I started at um, 10 30 yesterday, and I think I was finished maybe like 4 because of the whole process that you have to do, and I don't have time for all of that. So, I did the process yesterday, like I said, and I started. I washed it, I pre pulled it, I washed it, I did. Uh, condition it I deep condition it then I let it air dry then I blow dried it then I blow dried it out with the comb and then I flat iron it and I wrapped it last night 
you know hoping that it would go good but it's so thick it's just so manageable so this is it this is my hair and when I got up this morning to take my little wig cap thing off my head I was noticing that I have a lot of splitting see I don't know I have a lot See there look at that a lot of splitting ends on my hair uh, you know I'm not gonna blame it on transition I'm gonna blame it on the fact that I was trying to avoid dealing with my hair because it was just so horrific to deal with so I'll be wearing it in a ponytail I mean I know I'm gonna have to lose my length because it's so so much splitting ends but I'm gonna try to go for a bob and whatever the hair set look like I'll come back and show you all so I just wanted to share that TB for you if you have any ideas any suggestions any things that you think I should do with this <sighs> regimen that I'm gonna start doing for my hair I appreciate it oh yeah also I downloaded the app called Couch to 5k to help me through the process I've been doing elliptical for about six weeks now and my body's just used to it so I need to do it like give it like a shock factor so I can lose more weight. So what it does basically is that you walk for five minutes. You do like a, a brisk walk for five minutes. And then you off and on minute to a minute and a half of jogging and walking. And then you do a cool down for five. And it gets you ready for a 5K. And I've been telling myself for so long that I can't run. I get too tired. I feel like my heart is about to bust out of my chest. Like I just have to do better things. So... Um, I have a few videos with my hair journey, uh, some hauls, some um, wigs, weaves, just the normal basic things that I like to share with you all. And also, I'll be taking these. These are the Women's Ultra Mega Active Dietary Supplement that I got from GNC. I also have some um, vitamins for hair and nails. So, um, yeah. You know, I just want to share that with you all. Thank you for uh, thank you in advance for anybody that's tuning in and watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I, I promise I do. Any questions, I'll be happy to answer you all. Um, thank you, YouTube, and have a good night.